the following occurred on December 17th of 05. I started my workday early in the a.m. hours back then. This particular night was clear, cold and a little snow on the ground. I was taking my two German Shepherds out back to lock them inside my fenced yard. They entered the yard and my big Shepherd turned towards me and whined while looking up. I was just starting to latch the gate and looked up to see what he was whining about and seen a large, triangular craft just barely moving above me. I felt that I could hit it with a rock. It was that close. It was so huge that it seemed like it was closer than it was. The sky was lit up perfectly that night from the reflection of the lights from Indianapolis, I lived about 17 miles out west of Indy, and this thing was just floating silently above me. I got a good look at it. It looked thick, like a giant airliner, and was very long. The length from corner to corner at the rear was shorter than the length from the rear to front. I can't even guess as to how big it was. There was a large, thick circular object on the bottom with one light in the middle of it. It had areas of different depth to it also. The underbelly had different depths to it also. Mostly around the outer edges but some on the inner part of it too. It was so huge and close that I could have held one of my trash can lids at arm's length and still be able to see most of it. I don't remember light colors that were on it, but there were not very many. At least four minutes passed when by then both dogs were acting up but not barking. I looked back at them and to finish latching the gate. I looked back up but didn't see it until I looked over towards the east, which would have been the NW side of Indianapolis and there it was. The craft had suddenly traveled 15 to 20 miles and was higher in the sky. It then banked to the left and up and was gone in a flash. It was almost as if it just disappeared after it traveled a short distance because it was gone so fast. Although I have forgotten certain details, the size and quietness of this craft has never left me. I never felt anything but awe and how eerie it was to be so close, traveling slow and silent as if it was floating. I did not feel any energy or anything of the kind coming from it. I did not hear anything from the sudden burst of speed it had to have used when I had to search for it after looking away to latch my gate. This was the second time I had seen one of these. The other was when I was traveling east on I-70 coming through Nebraska way back in 91. I drove over the road truck driving then and several of us that were traveling in a convoy seen it to the south. We were all running fast until one of them yelled through the CB radio reel excitedly for us to look south. We all stopped and watched for about five or six minutes. Until it went out of sight. It was traveling about the height of what helicopters travel and was real far away but still looked huge. Brownsburg, Indiana I just dropped off a friend at his house at 2215. It was a nice night out, so I took the long way home. I was coming to it an intersection. I remember seeing the stop sign, but don't remember coming to it, or stopping. The next thing I know I am starting my car, and I am turning to wave goodbye to my friend. I realized I wasn't at his house, but near a cornfield, parked. I began to panic and looked down at my feet and my shoes were all muddy. I got out of my car caught my breath and regained myself. I look around and just could comprehend what just happened. I got back in and looked at the clock. I lost an hour. I look at my watch. This is the most troubling thing. It is a dual analog and digital watch. The digital portion was an hour off than the analog. I drove home with a very funny feeling. But I felt fine. Not tired, sore, sick. I felt great. Other than my sense of panic of what happened. I feared that I had some sort of seizure, or something. The next morning I contacted my brother. He is very much into the UFO phenomena, and has had a few experiences in his life, but more so he just has done a lot of research in this area of study. He told me I should make contact with you guys and share with you my story. Later today I finally decided to drive out where I found myself. It was very strange to be there again. As I drove around the field, a place I have never been, it seemed all too familiar to me. Like I had been there, and deep down inside a feeling of comfort and yet complete terror. 
I have tried to look at this logically and the only conclusion I can come up with is something happened, that had altered time, the watch and clock. Beyond that I have no logical explanation. In short, it was like being put to sleep for surgery. One minute you're looking up at the lights and doctors, and the next you are in recovery. The difference was, I was sleepy, or groggy. I was perfectly awake, and trained to start the car just as if I turned off to drop him off, and I was starting it again. But only an hour later two miles away. I know this sounds crazy. It does to me right now, but I just can't explain what happened. The 5th of July, 2009, 10.15 p.m. Brownsburg, Indiana, my wife, daughter and I were on our back porch and my wife and I at the same time saw a bright steady amber-colored light coming from the western sky heading south. It had no sound and was very high up in the sky. My wife asked me, what the hell is that? We ran through the house to the driveway, faces south, and watched this thing make a straight line almost looking like it flew into the moon and disappeared. We of course were in a bit of disbelief and just stood there for a few minutes talking about it. Within 7 minutes, the exact same thing happened again only with a slightly different flight pattern. It came from the exact same area in the sky but seemed to veer more to the west before going higher than the moon this time and again, vanished. I had grabbed the camera between sightings and took some pictures which aren't great but I will try to post. I couldn't hold the camera steady enough but perhaps the pics can be used to compare colors with any other recently taken photos. The 29th of July, 2009, 10.25 p.m. Brownsburg, Indiana went out on back deck to see the stars and look for meteorites before bed. Saw a big dipper and counted approximately distance to North Star as I have done since I was a kid. As I was looking at North Star and other star? Became visible approximately. 1. Held at arm's length westerly from North Star and gradually became brighter until it was as bright as Sirius. Then this star started moving slowly towards west approximately 2 inches at A.L. and gradually disappeared. I yelled to my friend, but she was upstairs with her daughter and did not hear me. Two to three minutes later the star reappeared stationary near Big Dipper and did repeat performance but this time when at its highest brightness it made a small U motion and flashed off as if a switch had been turned off. I am 58 years old and have been watching the sky my entire life, grew up with telescopes as a child and adolescent and have never seen anything like it before. Definitely not normal and wished my girlfriend had seen it. Extremely high in sky thus thinking it was star but stars do not move stop and move again. Conditions very clear great sky watching. Told some of my neighbors and they did not think I was crazy. We are all watching now. The 26th of September 2009 3.30 p.m. My friend Brad was getting ready to tape a marching band competition in Brownsburg, Indiana and was worried about the rain that was moving into the area. As he looked up to check the sky for the impending weather, he caught a glimpse of four spheres in the sky that did not appear to be moving. Puzzled he started asking the guy in front of him if he could see the objects and the guy replied that he also saw the objects. Brad turned on his camera, still trying to come up with an explanation as to why these things were there videotaped about 43 seconds of the objects before a fast moving cloud bank covered them up. We have let some airport people see the video and they say it's not aircraft. This sighting occurred at 3.30 in the afternoon with blue skies. The first idea Brad had is that it could be the Big Dipper, but at 3.30 in the afternoon with blue skies. We have also asked a few people that we know about that theory and no one that we know thought that was right either. The skies were blue that day except for the clouds that you can see rolling in quickly in the video. We don't have an explanation and thought you guys might interested in seeing the video. We would appreciate you letting us know what your conclusions are if any, thanks, David Webb.